welcome here, everyone to transfer everything and i really mean everything from your old iphone to your new iphone 15 pro max if on the 15 pro max you can see your home screen and you can see your lock screen then we will need to factory reset this phone in order to factory reset let's start by opening up the settings and inside of the settings i want you to scroll down until you see general and then scroll to the bottom and you should see transfer or reset iphone and then select erase or content and settings and then select continue and erase once you see this hello screen we're going to swipe up to unlock we are then going to set up the phone and you can do whatever you want until you reach this screen the screen in question is the quick start if you went past this screen then just tap on back until you see it on the old iphone we should have a prompt asking us to set up the device but we don't see any prompts so on the old iphone i now want you to open the settings and first of all make sure wi-fi is on and then second of all tap into bluetooth make sure bluetooth is on and discoverable and if nothing is showing on your old iphone still hold power and volume down to turn off the iphone and then we're going to use the power button to turn it on and just wait on the home screen until the prompt shows up there we go this is the prompt we are looking for set up new iphone let's tap on continue and the old iphone will connect to your new 15 pro max it now says hold up new iphone to the camera so you need to scan this bubble using your old iphone so we just need to scan it unfortunately i can't pick this up on video just hold your old iphone back until the bubble is scanned. We now see set up new iPhone. And if this is your iPhone, the 15 Pro Max, you can set up for yourself. We you can set up a child account. I will set up for me. The iPhone 15 Pro Max is now going to activate. Just going to make sure that there's no lock from the old owner. If your iPhone is new, then there shouldn't be any lock. If there is a lock, you will need to contact the old owner to remove it. Now, software update. Important, update your software if you want to transfer data from another iPhone. If you see this prompt, you have the launch model iPhone 15 Pro Max, and they released with software which does not support data transfer. So you will need to select update now, and you will need to wait for this software update to complete. If you skipped that software update prompt, just go back by swiping back or tap the back button so that you can go in and make sure that you get the software update installed first. If you are updating the software, you should see this Apple logo, the progress bar, and just wait for this one to finish. And once the software is completed, let's swipe up to unlock. And we're going to be brought back to the quick start. If the setup prompt isn't showing on your old phone, then we will need to go in and turn off the old phone and turn it back on one more time. And now let's continue again. It asks us to do the scan one more time as well. Showing the same messages. So just set up for me. And now we see finish on new iPhone. So data on privacy, we can accept this or reject this. It may ask you to transfer a phone number, and that is if your old iPhone has an eSIM or a physical SIM card which supports that. If not, you will, uh, I'll show you what to do in a bit. It's also asking for the face ID. You can set this one up if you want. I'd recommend you set it up, but I will set up later. Create a passcode, 
This is mandatory if you did set up Face ID earlier. I'm going to select the passcode options and I'm personally going to select don't use and don't use, but creating a passcode is highly recommended. Now we see here, transfer data from, and we're gonna tap on continue. And now it's gonna set up our Apple account. If prompted, enter in your old Apple ID password. And we need to now agree to the terms and conditions. You must agree to the terms and conditions to use the Apple services. So that is not an optional message. We now see, make this your new iPhone. So let's tap on continue. It's asking for the location services. I'm going to enable this one. You can always disable location services for certain apps later. But if you ever need to use the maps, you must have location on and any location feature, you need location services on for. iPhone analytics, this is optional. I'm personally going to not share. Emergency SOS, let's select continue for this. And now the data transfer will begin. It did not ask me to activate eSIM, but if it did, I will have a dedicated tutorial on activating eSIM in the description and it covers both methods. So this data transfer will transfer literally everything. Your new iPhone 15 Pro Max will look just the exact same as your old iPhone. You may need to re-sign in to some of your accounts. However, it should not be too big of an issue. Once the data transfer is done, I will show you what I would recommend you do. And we can see here, transfer complete. And the iPhone 15 Pro Max should automatically restart. And now it's just going to do the final data transfer progress. And now you can see the wallpaper was transferred. And if we go in, we can see the restore has been completed as well. It is asking us to do the things that I skipped earlier. So I'm just going to go to the home screen. It's showing where the new location for silent mode is. And uh, that is in the control center. I'll show that one when we unlock. It is now discussing the action button. This is the button on the left hand side. And if you long press it by default, it will go into silent mode. But if you tap on customize, you can customize what that one will do. And when we see welcome to iPhone, we can just swipe up and we're in. On the old iPhone, you can tap on continue. And it's asking us if we want to erase the old phone. I would not recommend you do this just to make sure, first of all, all the accounts are signed in. So let's verify that. So I'm going to tap on not now. And first of all, you can see literally everything is the same on both devices. We just open up your apps and just check if you are signed in. If you're not signed in, make sure you are signed in and then you can go in to factory set your old device. The new silent mode, if you swipe down from the far right hand side, you can see the silent mode toggle here. You can tap it on or off. With that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.